All right, I'm back with the Flight Scope Mevo Plus. Going to give an example of some short putting. Uh, initially, Flight Scope said the Mevo Plus was capable of reading five foot putts, which is uh, very short in the simulator world. Um, so I set one up for five feet eight inches, um, just outside of the five foot range that they uh, believe the unit will, will be capable of. Um, I do have 0 .09 firmware beta installed and what I've noticed on my turf is I really need to carry the ball eight or nine feet at least, um, even to my screen, which is uh, 10 feet, uh, to get the ball to read properly. Um, but if I hit it soft enough to get it to carry, uh, the unit will definitely you know, have less speed on the ball, so I'm not blowing it by the whole five feet. And I'm gonna try to give an example of that. Uh, so E6 Connect practice facility flat, Putting area five feet eight inches with uh, uh, no metallic dot on a Pro V1. Four miles per hour. I found that about three miles per hour can make it five feet. A little softer. That ball was a little left, rolled six feet. So six feet, 3.5 or 3.4 miles per hour. And the most interesting part here is no matter what mile per hour that flight scope sends the E6, it's up to E6 to take that according to its stint and get it to you know show properly in the software. So I think it's going to be interesting. The stimp readings, that was 5 feet 9 inches, 3.2 miles per hour. So like I said, about a 3 mile per hour ball that the flight scope reads will travel a little over 5 feet on E6 with a 10 stimp on a flat surface. say that I think it's going to be sensitive to the alignment on the Mevo. If you don't have that aligned or your ball takes off just a little bit right or left, um, I mean it's obviously going to, just like it should, uh, have the ball traveling slightly left or right to your dead center target. That was a little harder. Jammed it in though. 4.2 miles per hour, and that was a little right of center, and it caught the right edge of the cup. Just to the hole. 3.3 miles per hour, carried 5.7 feet. So if you learn the speed of your turf, I think you'll be able to putt better with E6 Connect, based on what I'm seeing so far, that is. Generally, I would hit a 10-foot putt to the screen, you know, and let it hit the screen, and my ball's not, it's, it's going up my ramp and rolling back down 3.6 miles per hour. I'll give you an example of only rolling it, you know, about five or six feet, um, which is not enough for the Mevo Plus to read. With the beta 0.09 firmware, doesn't mean that won't be coming in the future, but currently if you hit a ball that light, it won't read. That was about five, six, six feet. Roughly six feet. But once again, carry it to the screen. That was right, went right. 
four feet, 11 inches, three miles per hour. I really feel like a ball traveling three miles per hour is the minimum from what I'm seeing. It might not even read below three miles per hour. That's something I, you know, hopefully can ask the developers, maybe get that answer as well. I'm gonna ask the question, how far it reads the ball? Every time that ball travels nine feet, it reads it. I really feel like in order to do putting, you're gonna need eight or nine feet of roll from what I'm, I'm noticing. I mean, I guess you could hit it hard and it would stop. Um, I don't know how that would work. Dead center, dead center. Point three. I think it's safe to say that a three mile per hour ball travels five feet. Oh, just short, five feet five inches, and that barely made it to the hump. Three point two miles per hour. That ball, this was going a little right though too. I could tell it went right, right off center. I got some heat on that one. <laughs> oh, see if you catch the lift of the cup, you can drop it. 3.9 miles per hour. It read that increased speed. It's not up to flight scope whether that ball goes in the hole when it takes off at a certain speed. The Amiibo told it to take off. It started rolling a certain speed and it's up to E6 programming whether that ball is gonna drop in the hole. That was another one that had good speed on it. That should be 3.4, 3.4 miles per hour. So once you get the feel for how fast you're putting it, I think uh, you really understand what, what your unit is capable of. Um, I'm gonna hit a hard one just to see what happens. I'm gonna hit this, let's say five miles per hour. Oh, that might be more than, oh, let's see. It lipped out. That might have been six, seven miles per hour. That was, that was pretty hard. Yeah, six, six point eight. I had a feeling it was gonna be up there. But it just shows you that you really are understanding how fast the ball is going. Yeah, I don't know if it's necessarily gonna be calculating how far the ball is rolling because of the different, you know, environments and turf as much as how fast you are hitting the ball, mile per hour wise. Um, I hope that was a good example. I had a bunch of putts there. Once again, FlightScope Mevo Plus, beta firmware 0.09. Hope that helps. Comment below. Let me know what you think.